YouTube. Oop. So today we're using um, an Amiga 3000. Uh, and I've just uh, moved the camera. I've just um, copied a new installation of um, Classic Workbench over to the SD to uh, from the S from the SCSI to SD card adapter thingy. Um, this is the card that was in my 2000 a little while ago. Now, one of the first things I did was copy a few games over for WHD load, and then I remembered, oh yeah, there's obviously going to be a problem. Now the problem is. Clearly not there. Anyway, the problem is usually print screen to quit. Oh, okay. The problem is that usually, let's try a different one. That you will come up with a ROM error, and the ROM error will say something like A500. Oh, there we go. So that's the ROM error. And what is it saying? Well, WHD load uses. Uh, the kickstart ROM for whatever is most compatible for that game. Now this game in this instance wants an A500 ROM. Uh, icons, windows, show, all files, what do we got? ROMs. So here we have a collection of emulator ROMs. So it's asking us for What's it asking us for? 3.4 for an A500. Three four zero zero five A500. So I suspect it's that. Three four. It'll be that one. So what we'll do is we shall. Um, bum, 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 bum. How do we do it? Come on, think. Rename. Oh, that was difficult. And we shall rename it whatever it's asking for, which is kick three four zero zero five dot a five hundred. Okay. And where does it want us to put it? It wants us to put it in devs kickstart. So let's go into system, which is somewhere. System. Um. Um, kick starts. We'll probably need to see all files. Oh, we have all files, okay. So we need devs. We need kick starts, okay. So it's already got the RTB files there. So we'll get rid of that for a moment. In fact, we'll get rid of that and we'll just have. We'll just have that on show. Okay, so what it's saying is it cannot find that. So if we pop that into data types, DOS, kickstarts, if we put that into there, and press retry, does it work? Invalid image, clearly not. So obviously I've copied the wrong file there, which is fantastic. Really? View, 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 where would view be? View by name, okay. That's not the wrong image, what are you talking about? Unless it means that one. Let's rename that one. It's got to be one of them after all. So let's rename that. Obviously I can't name it the same as the one oh, kick. Three four oh oh five dot a. There's a very good reason why I'm doing that. You can't have two files with the same name. So if we drop that into Kickstarts. Place that one. Invalid 
highlight image. Alright. Really? Well, there aren't too many images I've got left, to be perfectly honest. Uh, in fact, I haven't got any images left. So let's find what that should be. this so let's try that again all I've done is copied the first one that I did back over because I don't believe it's wrong I think it's telling me lies I think it's telling me fibs Yes, it is. Print screen to quit. Okay. Okay, there we go. Balance of power. Okay, so you can see what we did there, we copied the ROM over into the Kickstart folder of devs, which, uh, which you have to do for Classic Workbench if you want to use WHD load. Uh, I haven't done it for quite a while because usually I keep using the same um, Classic Workbench image. So anyway, so this is Classic Workbench, it is the, um, the light version. It's about 29 megabyte it downloads as system. Uh, anyway, so this is classic workbench. It's got the 1.3 um, icon scheme, if you like. It's still workbench 3.1, it's just that it's modeled on 1.3, obviously. So you've got a lot more toys to play with. Uh, this is standard A3000, so um, let's have a look at utils, what does that do? Not a lot. Programs. Um, system, what does that do? Uh, so if we go to uh, my workbench, which is the wrong folder, utilities. This is 68030 with MMU and FPU. Um, it's got four megabytes of RAM. It's got an A2000 card in there, which will be slowing the RAM down, which it is. Well, that's okay. That's reasonably, uh, reasonably good to use. Reasonably quick. This is the, like I say, it's the SD to um, the SCSI thing. So it's quite leisurely. I think I was getting 700,000 k a second. On the A2000, on the 68000, so this should be a little bit quicker, possibly. 
Ooh, is that slower? Can't be slower. Perhaps it is. Boards. It's telling a few liars here, but pretty much okay. Okay, quit. Didn't notice what the real estate load version was. That's how it looks. This asked me for another ROM version. I might have to do the same again. This might use 1.2. I don't know. Start at level 1. Okay. A crack toe as well. Lovely. My creaky chair. Alright. Do you? Copyright notice. Press fire. Oh, I haven't got a joystick plugged in, so it could be tricky. Anyway, I don't want to play it. What was quick? Were you watching? Was it print screen? Was it page up, page down, break, scroll, home? What key was it? Whatever key that was, that's what it was. What's a mouse game? Leaderboard's a mouse game. Saves me having to go uh, find a joystick at this time of night. So I know this is... Um, I just wanted to show how you copy the ROMs over to the dev kickstart folder. And clearly there are a few issues where it thinks it's the ROM, wrong ROM when in fact it isn't. So persevere and you'll be okay. Seem to be out of focus there a bit. I used to love this game. I'm gonna have a quick, uh, a quick round of uh, oh N. Ah, that's lemon amateur. I used to play this on the A500. Oh my god. That, uh, Oh! I wasn't ready. Oh, yeah. 97 yards. Oh, well, let's have a 9 iron. Wind is that away. So go over there a bit. A bit more. So 9 iron will go high. Completely awful. So a pitching wedge and we'll go half power. In the hole, you're dancing. Or not, as the case may be. 23 feet, were they about 10? Don't remember. Oof. Right pace, rubbish angle. Oh no! Press the wrong button again. Fairground. Attraction. Get in there, son. Oh, come on. Excellent. A nice six. Clearly wasn't what you want the quick key was. Um, now this used to be a game I used to play in the 500, so I'm interested to see what the speed difference is on an 030. Now obviously this is running through the VGA through the Amber uh, scan doubler, so this is running straight into the VGA monitor with Commodore technology. 
it does give a better picture than using a GPS um, RGB to VGA thing. Okay, one, bu one button shoot, one's reload. Oh, the mouse stuck. Yeah. Three thousand. Get ready. Okay. Seven thousand. Get ready. Okay. Oh my god. You have not qualified. What? That was awesome shooting. Oh. Really need to pay attention on what the quick kid. Robson's Requiem. Not sure if that runs on ECS, does it? We shall soon see. Something's happening. Oh yeah. F10 quit. There are there is a little bit of striping on the A3000 from the amber to the uh, VGA monitor, but there are a couple of trim pots or a trim pot on the 3000 motherboard that I could tweak to possibly, excuse me, to possibly get rid of that. Robinson's Requiem. This is a 3D game, as I remember, survival thing. Just imagine people trying to play this on an A500. I'm thinking Amigas are rubbish. We could do with, um, well, I don't need to, but I might populate the zip RAM in this machine, the fast RAM. It's currently got one meg fast RAM. Having said that, I do have a 6860 card for this, so I might just pop that in. Anglazy, please wait. Well, I've got this set up and running nicely. Uh, what I'll do is I shall do a top 10 of my favourite games, I think. It's a little bit Bug Rogers, you're going to crash. Ooh. That must have been quite impressive back in the day. The first time I ever saw um, FMV like that was on the CD32. Pirate's Gold demo, I think it was. Or advert trailer. It was on one of these CD32 discs that you could get on the magazine. Okay, Andre. Eric Galand. Menu of options. Yes, music. What's that do? Do I want a frog by a ladder? Yeah, of course I do. 
dimensions of 3D window high, of course. Start, get on with it. Uh, yeah, this um, this Omega 3000. I've had this quite a while. It was bought from Ami Bay many years ago, um, and the motherboard was damaged by battery battery leakage. It's never really worked very well. Um, but this motherboard actually I saw for sale in America, and I bought it. And it appeared about a week ago, or perhaps two weeks ago. I either put it in a week ago, cleaned the board up. Got very little battery damage in pretty good condition. Actually, it's in very good condition. A uh, couple of chips were missing. Uh, the amber was missing and the uh, Agnus was missing. So I took them from my old board, popped them in here, and it works works perfectly. Pretty slow. Eat, fight, what's that? Use. You're going to hit that tree. There's not a lot of sound going off. That could be something in the distance there. There'll be a something. It's a bush. Okay. So if I look over here, what's Yeah, well, that's Robinson's other requiem. <clears throat> so if I go to programs, programs, let's see what we've got. We've got SYS info, this is more modern than mine. I still got an old one. Oh no, that is probably one of the last ones, is it? Which version? Oh yes, yep, okay. Calbunga, dude. Oh no, no MMU, just FPU. Uh, what else have we got? Need it to PC. Really? Oh, I never noticed that before. D paint. Let's look at D paint. This is a Commodore bundle. Okay. Okay, Commodore bundle. Oh, I know it's. You know what? I'm going to draw some pictures. I haven't drawn any pictures on Amiga for many, many years. That's pretty garbage. Double ham. Oh, I don't like double ham. That's a monitor or the or the amber. Oh, 
Electronic Arts. This is probably the last time Electronic Arts did anything that was any good. What have we got? World map low res. Okay. I'm there, pretty much. Okay, quit that. I'll not need deep paint. Let's start creating games again. Tude, what's Tude? Don't know what Tude is. What's that? Are you going to tell me? Or is it a secret? No, no. This is my latest work. It's a degrader and enhan and enhancer. Is it? The Amiga, I'm afraid, to be sold to pay for a 486. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! What the hell are you playing at, man? I refuse to use that just for that comment. File X. What's that do? Opus, dissolve, yep, people player, icons. Pack master editor. All right. Okay. HTML. Really? Okay. So what else have we in system? Nothing probably. I am an Amiga 3000 from Commodore, and I would like to some obligatory BBS work on it. Ah, oh, paint my seed do work. Unpack file. Directory error. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Unpack me that. Oh. Insert a disk into DFO. Oh, do I want to put a disk in DFO? Actually, I will, but not that one. Let's find a disc. 
I have tried this software before and it, it didn't want to work really. Ah. Yeah, this is the um, tandem or tandem, is it tandem? It's uh, a Zorro IDE controller card, but it's non auto booting. So I've popped it in here um, and I thought I'll unpack the disc. It's a DMS driver disc at some point. I haven't got around to it yet. I did try the Packmaster, but it didn't seem to work on the 2000. But it works here, so we shall see what um, transpires. All done. Press close. A bit bossy, aren't you? Okay. Let's reboot see what happens. Well, that's clearly not the tandem disk driver, is it? Because I'm pretty sure Sega never made IDE controller cards for the Amiga. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. <laughs> 